you know, I talk so much about exposure therapy and exercise. I mean, to the point that some of my clients want to punch me in the face, I'm sure. I don't know if there's anything really bigger than exposure therapy and exercise uh, outside of, you know, the cognitive behavioral therapeutic things we can do like uh, cognitive restructuring, cognitive reframing, learning how to end rumination, learning how to identify irrational thinking patterns, maladaptive behaviors, and again, restructure those things to um, healthier behaviors and healthier patterns of thinking. Of course, that's huge. And when I work with people, first thing I do is educate, which a lot of you guys are highly educated on this topic because you become specialists by default. Uh, then I work on perception because perception is huge. As I've said in multiple videos, um, this thing, it annihilates our perception. It's, it's, it's very stealthy, stealthy, stealthy. Yeah. You know, it, it makes us believe that what we're feeling is accurate. You know, we're not being negative. We're being real. Well, no, we are being negative. We're not being fearful. We're being concerned, right? It, it reframes our thinking, our perception on what we're doing. And it, and it lies and tells us, no, oh, we're not doing a bad thing here. And in fact, we are. We're not seeing things clearly. So perception is huge. Perception is the start of this thing. We need to look at uh, everything in our, our experience and ask ourselves, are we seeing this uh, correctly? And if not, how do we get aligned with clear perception? Because clear perception is everything. A, a, a poor perception, self-defeating perception can quite literally drastically increase symptoms of depression and anxiety. I mean, people go to therapy every day in this world, uh, never having taken a benzo, but just suffering with faulty perceptions, faulty perceptions that maybe stemmed from their childhood, the way they were raised, the way people treated them, the way they've grown to think of themselves and the world, whether they're no good and too small or they're so great and so grandiose. It goes both ways. So perception's everything. And, uh, you know, that's that's where I like to start is uh, perception. But not all depression that we experience is going to be benzo related. Not all of it's going to be a chemical disposition. Not all of it's going to be just from, you know, the symptoms of benzo of isolating negative thinking. That that kind of stuff, we can do exposure and, uh, you know, perceptual changes, exercise. We can really beat all that stuff down to a point. But I want to talk about another type of depression that's a lot less uh, focused on, and that's existential depression. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and listening. Please click the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the content. And be sure to check out my book on Amazon, The Powers Manual, Benzel Guide to Recovery.